Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also gonna compare it to the DXY, but before we start, a little reminder, we have our Bitcoin giveaway running this week and from this week on to prevent scammers and spammers that always comment here in the subscription video that is popping up at the end of this video. As you can see, we have 320 comments, but the most of them are from spammers. So to prevent these scammers to win the giveaway, you have to put also the hashtag Alessandro the Crypto on the subscription video to participate on our weekly giveaway. And currently we only have seven real subscribers to this giveaway compared to the fake 320 comments. So that's why make sure that if you want to participate on our $20 worth of Bitcoin giveaway this week to subscribe here on this video that is popping up at the end of this video. You have to put the hashtag, your comment and also your Bitcoin address in order to participate. Only like this you can win this $20 which we're gonna select the winner at the end of this week. So make sure also to put the hashtag because currently only seven people subscribe to the giveaway. So if you do it the right way and you are not a spammer then you have a very nice chance to win this giveaway. And now let's start with the content, my friends. Currently, Bitcoin broke out from this bear flag that we were forming after dropping here towards $10,300. And yesterday we reached here this $10,130 and it looks like that we are forming here in the one hour time frame another bearish rising wedge which tends to break out to the downside. We have currently in the lower time frame some bullish signs that we could see a possible bounce to the upside. But since the stock market is still doing bad and is still dropping I'm expecting also here the breakout to the downside and I'm still expecting the price to go at least towards $9,600 to close the CME gap and potentially also touch the 200 daily moving average. But currently here in the lower time frames, it looks like that we're gearing up here for a possible retest of this $10,300 to $10,400 before we continue to the downside and here in the one hour you can see that we are fighting with the 20 moving average and so far we are getting rejected already from this moving average if we see a follow through here to the upside then watch out for this ten thousand four hundred dollar maybe even up here to ten thousand seven hundred dollar resistance which currently is above of us and i think that there is still a chance that we maybe could see here some pushes to the upside at least some attempts to push through here because we were very oversold here in the one hour time frame and also if you have a look into the DXY which is still pumping it looks quite overbought to me so a little correction here in the DXY is still possible but as you can see we are on our way to the upside potentially towards 95 to 97 dollars here and the 20 moving average is giving us support here in the DXY so that's why I'm telling you my friends I'm still expecting the price to go lower on the Bitcoin price. So if you want to go long or buy some more Bitcoin, start to DCA as soon as we close the CME gap at $9,600 because we are very close to this gap down below here. And as soon as this one is getting filled, I think we are good to go to the upside, potentially even go lower towards $9,200, but then we should be bottoming out and then continue our bullish momentum to the upside since we already broke here this strong resistance here at $10,000 in July and therefore I think we will see continuation to the upside in the future. And now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the one hour because currently we are trading again here in the middle line. So if we are getting rejected here at $10,300, then be prepared to see the price dropping at least towards $10,160 again, potentially even lower. But if you are able to break this resistance here, then we should be topping out somewhere here at around $10,500 in my opinion. So everything between $10,400 to $10,700 could be a huge rejection area. Stochastic is also coming here in overbought condition. KST and MACD are now shifted to the upside, so we could see some follow through here to the upside. Let's see if we are able to break out here to the upside from this little rising wedge that we are forming here in the one hour. But even though we could even break out here to the upside, I still expect here continuation to the 
downside potentially in the next coming days maybe even weeks but i think that in this month we're gonna see the bottom most likely especially this weekend that is coming will be the last weekend of this month so i'm expecting the biggest price changes during this next couple of days so during this weekend and therefore be ready in case that the price is dropping towards the cme gap to dca back into bitcoin and now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because currently we are trading below the 20 moving average and it's right here ten thousand four hundred seventy dollar i still expect the price to go up here to test this moving average which is also coinciding with the top of the bollinger band in a one hour time frame so if we have here a breakout to the upside from this little rising wedge then watch out here for this possible target at ten thousand four hundred seventy i think if we're reaching these levels most likely we are getting rejected there and continue to trade to the downside but if you want to take a short or a long right now you know the targets RSI is also quite oversold so here also I'm expecting here some continuation to the upside in the next couple of hours but as I told you my friends it is a bit risky right now to already open up longs but of course if you don't go too leveraged in you can already try to long it and maybe here put a stop loss or close your trade once we reach this 10,470 dollars because most likely we're getting rejected here and only if you're really able to push through here higher then watch out for the 50 and 200 moving average here at around 10,700 to 11,000 dollar and if we have a look into the bollinger band in the four hour very important time frame here because currently we are still trading below the middle line so we're still trading on the bearish side we could even go up here towards this ten thousand four hundred seventy dollar right here in the middle of the bollinger band and still getting rejected here if you're able to push through then watch out for this ten thousand seven hundred dollar because macd and ks they are quite flat if here we're getting a bullish cross we could see here some attempts of the bulls to push towards 10,470 and higher. Stochastic is also shifted to the upside. So the four hours still looking good here in the Bitcoin price. And if we go over to the DXY, you can see that this is also looking a bit toppy here in my opinion. We are getting into very overbought conditions. So a possible pullback to the downside is still in the cards in my opinion, at least to test here the 20 moving average at 94 dollars again and then bounce again to the upside so that's why i'm still expecting here in the lower time frame so in the short time frames some correction in the dxy and some pushes to the upside in the bitcoin price even though i still think for the next couple of days we will most likely head lower in the bitcoin price and also close the cme gap that we have at nine thousand six hundred dollar but the dxy is looking a bit toppy here in the lower time frames and now let's open up the daily time frame in the bitcoin price because here here currently we're still trading below the 20 daily moving average and if we're gonna see here some pushes to the upside watch out as i told you for 10,470 up to 10,700 dollar because this is where the 20 daily moving average is lining up and the daily has still a room left to the downside so here the bigger time frames are looking a bit more bearish so here i'm expecting still continuation to the downside potentially to test the 200 daily moving average at 9,200 dollar and also close the cme gap that we have at 9,600 dollar on the cme chart so the daily even though we could see in the lower time frames some pushes to the upside the daily is looking like that we could see continuation to the downside and the opposite here on the dxy continuation to the upside towards the 200 daily test this moving average and then get rejected and continue to trade lower and take out also these lows that we had here at 90 160 because the daily here is looking a bit top in the dxy in my opinion and as soon as i get here a sell signal and on the bitcoin price a buy signal we will see a big run to the upside in the bitcoin price and the big crash in the dxy in my opinion and if you are interested in my own indicator and watch it 24 7 you can contact me over on discord because you can sign up to this stream with a little donation so you can contact me over on discord and then i explain you how to get access to my own indicator which you can see 24 7 and now let's go back to the bitcoin price and open up the bollinger band in the daily because here it is still looking bearish in my opinion we are trading in the lower end so everything between 10,500 down to 9,930 is still possible stochastic is coming down to oversold conditions so here we could see some pushes to the upside incoming but overall here if we're getting rejected again here in this 10,500 dollar level prepare to see the bitcoin price again below 10,000 dollar also macd and 
10ks they are still flat so if here we're gonna see a possible crash towards 10k and lower then here we're gonna have a bearish cross and also continuation to the downside and we can open up also the weekly time frame right now because we are coming again very very close to 20 weekly moving average and we have to see this weekend where we're gonna close because if this weekend we're gonna close below 10k this could be very dangerous for the bitcoin price and this could lead into a possible retest even down here to the 50 weekly moving average at $8,800 I think that is also a possible target it's not only close to the 200 daily moving average at $9,200 but also would close the CME gap and also also we would have this 50 weekly moving average test here and then potentially bounce to the upside important is that the RSI is not closing below the 50 level in that case we could see even continuation to the downside so below $8,800 and in that case I would target here the 7,200 area maybe even down towards $6,800 depending where the 200 weekly moving average will line up and if we open up the Bollinger Band also here you can see that we are still trading in the upper area but between these two moving averages and I told you also last week as long as we're trading between these two moving averages here so between $11,000 and $10,000 we are not choosing our direction where we're gonna trade next because if we're gonna have a close below 10k we could even fall towards $8,200 but if we're gonna have a weekly close above $11,000 then we could go up here to retest all of these 12k but as you can see currently we are getting rejected from this moving average so in theory we could now also lose this 10 support if we're gonna close a weekly candle below and even if we could see prices again towards eight thousand dollar i will still remain bullish on the bitcoin price and will buy everything i can down in those levels because this could be really the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin stochastic is also getting oversold here so i think if we're gonna have a dip towards these levels down here it's gonna be short-lived and also MACD and KSD are gonna have here a bearish cross pretty soon, especially if this week or next week we're gonna close below $10,000. So watch out for the weekly closes my friends this is going to be very interesting this next couple of weeks because this could be really the last opportunity to buy some cheap Bitcoin and also some altcoins that you want because we have currently a bloodbed in the altcoins so I think it's very soon time to go shopping and buy some stuff that you want over here because some of these projects will outperform Bitcoin in the future and I think if you diversify right now also into some alts just a little bit not too much i usually use just one to five percent of my portfolio in the altcoins the rest is everything into bitcoin just buying and holding bitcoin is always the safest bet and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to moon up the likes very much appreciate also subscribe to the channel very important and if you have twitch of course you can also follow me over on my twitch channel you'll find the link down below here and also feel free to join our discord trading chat it's completely for free and everyone is welcome and there you can also get access to my own indicator live stream all right guys thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.